Hi, first graders. We are on Knowledge 8, Lesson 1. What is a habitat? Our first vocabulary word is habitat. Say habitat. Habitat is the natural home or environment of an animal, plant, or other organism. Our next word is living. Say living. Living means to be alive. And the last word is survive. Say survive. Survive means continue to live or exist even when danger is around. Greetings, fellow adventurers. You are here to learn something new, and believe it or not, I'm here to teach it to you. I know that you may be wondering what you could possibly learn from a rat climbing out of a dumpster, but I am Rattenborough, the famous rat adventurer. I travel the world looking at plants and animals and all the different places that they call home. I'm going to take you on a special adventure all around the world. You're going to learn about some amazing and incredible places and animals. And we're going to start our exciting journey right here. I know, I know, it doesn't look like much, but it's special to me and it is everything I need. Welcome to my home. This is the alleyway where I live. Take a look around. What do you see? There are trash cans, litter boxes, drains, and dripping pipes, old buildings, and gutters. It's a perfect home for a rat. It has everything I need to survive. All living things need food, water, and shelter to survive. Survive means to stay alive. Animals like me definitely need to look out for shelters. A shelter is something that protects from weather or danger. A house or an apartment can be a shelter. A tree can also be a shelter. So animals need food, water, and shelter to stay alive. My food comes from these trash cans and the litter on the street. My water comes from the gutters, drains, and pipes. And my family and I have a shelter down under some steps nearby. All of these things make up my habitat. A habitat is a place where an animal or plant lives that has food, water, and shelter. It's true that my home, the alleyway, is not considered a natural habitat like a forest or a pond, but with so many humans using up so much of the Earth's natural resources, some animals have been forced to survive in human-made habitats. What are the three things that animals need to survive again? Food, shelter, and water. If a place lacks any of these three things, then it is not a good habitat. Animals and plants usually live in habitats that are just right for them. Just as people can't live underwater or in air, plants and animals can't all live in the same sorts of places. You don't hear about elephants living near the North Pole on that ice, and you definitely don't hear about polar bears living in a desert. Pumpkins don't grow in the sea, and fish do not live in trees. I can tell you firsthand that rats can't live just anywhere in the world. I don't like the weather to be too cold, and I need to live in a place where food is easy to find. That's why I like my cozy little shelter under the steps. It is warm enough for my family and me. There is always plenty of water, and there is always a good supply of food in the trash. Let's look around. You might have a park like this somewhere near your neighborhood. Here the word park means a public place that has land that is used for recreation and exercise. People like to spend time playing and relaxing in this park. Besides being a park, it is a habitat for many other things too. The grass, trees, flowers, and bushes in this park need food and water to live. Have you ever seen a park? What kinds of plants live in the park habitat in your neighborhood? Hmm. The animals that live in the park share it as a habitat. This includes the pigeons that fly around looking for crumbs to eat, the squirrels, owls, and chipmunks that live in those trees, the bees, fireflies, and mosquitoes buzzing about, the raccoons and possums that come out at night, and even the frogs and the fish in the pond nearby. This is a picture of a place called the Arctic. Do you think you could easily live in the Arctic with its very cold temperatures and snow-covered ground? Not many things can live there, but later I'm going to show you some incredible plants and animals that do live in the Arctic. Most animals have to live in habitats that are specific to them, but you human beings are very clever. You can build habitats for yourselves. If you wanna live in the desert where there isn't much water, or food to drink, you can build a pipeline to bring the water 
for watering or for drinking. You can have food transported to the desert by road, and you can use it because it would be difficult to grow food there. You can build a shelter so you don't have to sleep in the sand. In fact, people like you have been able to live in extremely hot places and extremely cold places because of these reasons. We are going on an adventure that will take us all over our amazing planet Earth. Over the next several weeks, I'm going to show you some fascinating animal and plant habitats that might be quite different from yours. You'll see some wonderful and unusual places where things can live. I can't wait to show you all of these interesting places, but first, I have a lot to pack because we're going all over the world. I'm going to need a backpack full of gear, so hold on to your whiskers, I mean hats, and get ready for a marvelous adventure. The end. You may now go ahead and click on the Google form to answer the questions about today's read aloud.